So we're just here at Mont Saint-Michel in France. Um, this is a very interesting place from a geomantic perspective. It's on the Apollo Athena axis, so the one that stretches all the way from Skellig Michael in Ireland through St. Michael's Mount in England. Mont Saint-Michel where we are now all the way down through St. Michael and Apollo sites, churches and temples and ancient megalithic sites all the way down through Delos, Dodona and Delphi, the oracle sites in Greece, down to Armageddon or Megiddo in Israel and this was discovered by Jean Riker in the mid 20th century followed up by Christine Roan and then John Michel who wrote about this and it's reminiscent of the famous St Michael ley line in England but it goes at a different angle and they both meet at St Michael's Mount in England. Here we also have giant legends where in the Arthurian mythos in some versions it's said that he saved a kind of female princess um, you know with all his might from a giant who had kidnapped her and was a cannibalistic giant who lived on the mount before it became what it is now a monastery and so there's a lot of mythology here relating to the geomantic principles with the ley lines with the giants who are often said to be stone throwers and worked with geomancy and surveying uh, so it's just amazing to be here, even though this is only what, what a thousand or less years old, it's still a prominent site here. And you can see on top, which we'll have a look at in a moment, is this golden angel which is placed on there. And this is set to represent potentially, you know, um, beings who have been witnessed here, just like on St. Michael's Mount in England. And so let's take a look around. We're going to walk up all around the site, get a sense of it, hopefully get some aerial shots, just to see what's going on here at Mont Saint-Michel. <laughs> 